Hi, my name is Sam Dhanishekran and welcome to Oracle 12C Database Administration course. We will begin with the chapter Introduction. What is Oracle 12C? Oracle 12C is a RDBMS software. RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System and it's basically a DBMS that confirms to the aspects of relational model. I'll talk about it in a little bit. And what does DBMS stand for? As a part of RDBMS that I just expanded, DBMS stands for Database Management System. What is a database? Database is a system that stores and manages data. So what's a relational model? It's a model that has well-defined structure to store the data, a well-defined operations to work with the data, and integrity rules to control the data. Okay. So now let's get into detailed explanations. If you understood the previous slides, you may move on to the next video. If not, you may continue to watch the rest of the video. What is Oracle 12C? As I mentioned earlier, Oracle 12C is a RDBMS software. Every business has some sort of information that it needs to manage okay. whether it's a small mom and pop shop or a big corporation every business work with data and generate data a small shop would collect their customers address to send flyers. That information is data. So they need to store that information about their customers somewhere. Sure, they can store them as a handwritten ledger. But what if they want to send coupons to the customers who haven't visited them in a while? Okay. Or what if they want to s look at the revenue generated from customers from a particular location? To do that, they would need a structured database system where they can store the data and retrieve the data. Or a big corporation would handle millions and millions of transactions a day. And they need database systems for that. Oracle 12C is one of the leading RDBMS softwares that can be used to create a database management system. What is a relational model? It's a model that has a well-defined structure to store the data, a well-defined operations to work with the data, and integrity rules to control the data. Let's look at the structure. The database has to provide ways to create well-defined objects to store data. If you look at this picture here, I've written the data in a well-defined format. This format is called as a table. Okay, where you have columns and rows. Okay, columns run vertically while rows run horizontally. It also has a header for the column. These things. 
A database has to provide means to create a well-defined structure such as a table. Let us look at the operations. The database has to allow well-defined operations on the structures. In this example, as I mentioned already, this structure is called as a table. So, I should be able to read this table. I should be able to modify the data or delete the data. I should be able to modify just a part of this table. A database with well-defined operations should allow that. These operations that help in accessing the data or modifying the data are called logical operations. There is another type of operation called physical operation. These operations that are involved to help logical operations. Okay. A database may use an index to read data from a table. Right? I mean, we must have sent a query to read data. So, that query is a logical operation. But how the database brings the data? That's a physical operation. So, a database may use an index to read data from a table or it may need to sort the data before bringing the final result. We will talk about indexes and sorts later in this course, but these come under physical operations in a relational model. and integrity rules. The database has to allow us to set certain rules while working with the data. What if someone types A, B, C, D, F in a column for date of birth? The data is invalid and the database should be able to prevent it by use of integrity rules. It should throw an error about it. This is just one of the many integrity rules that a relational database has to support. This concludes the topic introduction. Thank you for watching.